If the spot price of silver never ends up skyrocketing, the worst that could happen is that you and I would be left with a bunch of silver coins, rounds, and bars that didn't make us a multi, multi, multi millionaire. We're not focused on the fiat. We're not focused on profiting. We're focused on saving. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and what it would mean or what would happen if the spot price never ends up skyrocketing but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description and if you want to get some dyds merchandise to help support the channel i would really 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 appreciate it any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver. As we all know, it's kind of sitting in the $25, $26 range as it's been for the last week or so. And as for the last couple of months, it's been pretty much stuck in the $24, maybe $25 range. So not a whole lot of moves have been made. Not a whole lot of growth has taken place. Granted, we're looking at a very short window of time. It's just been a couple of months. So for silver to be pretty much sitting still shouldn't really surprise anyone. But... I wanted to talk about what it would mean or what would happen, what would occur if years, decades down the road, silver still doesn't skyrocket. Now I can't speak on behalf of everyone else, I can only speak for me. Now if you ask me in my opinion and from my perspective, I don't think it's ever going to necessarily skyrocket. I do believe silver will grow. I do believe silver has plenty of room to perform. I think silver will go up in value gradually over an extended period of time. But I do not think it's going to skyrocket because skyrocket, by definition, means to rapidly increase in value with just a short window of time. So if we were to go to sleep at $25, $26 an ounce and wake up at, I don't know, $32, $33, and throughout the rest of the week it climbs its way up to $50, and then early next week, $150, maybe $200, that's what I would say skyrocketing is going up and up and up and up and up. Unbelievably quick, unbelievably rapidly. I personally don't think that'll ever happen. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't want that to happen. Because if something goes up that quick, it can come down just as fast. So I wouldn't want silver to have some unnatural spike. I wouldn't want anything abnormal to happen. I wouldn't want anything in particular driving silver all the way up like that. I would rather silver climb its way up on its own. I would rather see healthy growth. I would like to see gradual, stable, sustainable steps up. Now, of course, it's going to have its steps down on the way up. I always say 10 steps up, 5 steps down, 6 steps up, 2 steps down, 3 steps up, 1 step down. It's going to have its ups and downs. But if you look at the charts, if you look at the trends, and if you see that upward trajectory, that's the trend I personally believe it's going to follow. I think it's going to stay like that. Yeah, of course there's going to be some spikes every now and then. There's going to be some massive dips every now and then. But I think overall... I think the trend is going to be an upward trajectory, in my opinion, from my perspective. Now, with all of that said, I want to talk about what would happen if silver just doesn't skyrocket, if that doesn't happen. I know there's a lot of people out there with their fingers crossed hoping for it to absolutely skyrocket and officially take off and go to the moon. I understand why they want that to happen, but I think there are better ways to see massive growth. I think there are better ways to see fiat dollar bill profits. I mean, most wealth is created business stocks and real estate. I think those are probably a better alternative if you're looking to earn income, if you're looking to make profit. Silver the way I see it. Hey guys, really quick, I interrupt this video to let you know as a friendly reminder, my latest VIP club giveaway ends on January 1st. If you wanna be entered, the only thing you have to do is join the VIP club before January 1st and you're automatically entered. That's it, that's all. Link in the description if you wanna join. Now everybody has a different perspective, but from my perspective, I just see it as a physical at-home savings account. I wouldn't put my cash in a savings account at the bank with my fingers crossed hoping for it to skyrocket out of nowhere. Because number one, there's no way in the world that would ever happen anyway. But when it comes to silver, the possibility is still there. It could happen. Silver could absolutely skyrocket. Silver has done plenty of things over the last three years that have proven me wrong. Who's to say it won't prove me wrong again in the future? But 
I don't believe that's going to happen. It definitely could, though. So that's the main difference between what I consider to be a physical at-home savings account and a traditional savings account at the bank. There's no way the bank is ever going to skyrocket. It's not going to happen. The dollar will only ever be considered worth a dollar. It's losing purchasing power, so it's not even worth a dollar anymore. But there's no way a $1 bill will ever say it's worth $1.5 or $1.75 or anything like that. The dollar bill is never going to skyrocket. It's always going to say a dollar, no matter what the purchasing power looks like. But when it comes to silver, if we end up going several years down the road, several decades down the road, and the people who just can't stand silver and they're foaming at the mouth because how dare we stack coins, you know those people, 10, 15, 20, 50 years down the road, they're still going to be watching our videos, you already know that, and they're sitting there saying, Oh, it's not going to skyrocket, you're stupid, blah, 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 it's never going to skyrocket. And the way I see it, if the spot price of silver never ends up skyrocketing, the worst that could happen is that you and I would be left with a bunch of silver coins, rounds, and bars that didn't make us a multi-multi-multi-millionaire. I'm not stacking silver to become a multi-multi-multi-millionaire. We're all currently a bunch of people with silver that aren't multi-multi-millionaires. We're not focused on the fiat. We're not focused on profiting. We're focused on saving. That's just the way I see it. I think a lot of people have an odd perception of what we're doing over here. A lot of people don't really understand. A lot of people see it and say, Oh, oh wow, you guys are idiots. That's a bad investment. And I would probably agree because I don't consider it an investment in the first place. I consider it a savings account, like I said before. So worst case scenario, silver doesn't go to a $1,000 an ounce or $15 million an ounce or whatever these weird people are claiming. If that doesn't happen, we all know silver is not going to go to zero. There's no way for it to go to zero. It has over 10,000 different uses. Some people might say, Oh yeah, but this might be replaced with a cheaper alternative than silver. This might happen or that might happen. Okay, what happens if 50 of the different uses go away? Oh no, we're stuck with 9,950 more. Silver is very versatile. And I know I said that I don't consider silver to be an investment, but in a weird way, you can almost see silver as not an investment, but an investor, a very diversified investor. It has its feet in everything. It has its place everywhere. It's established its presence all over the place. So if one thing were to go wrong, it still has 9,999 others. That's just the way I see it. And if something were to go wrong, and if this one industry is using less silver than they were previous years, it really doesn't matter because silver is still all over the place. I mean, it's used in photography, medicine, batteries, cars, electronics, solar panels. It's the greatest conductor of both heat and electricity. It's the most reflective metal on the planet. Silver's all over the place. Silver is, yes, a precious metal, but it's an industrial metal, and it's something that I use, and it's something that a lot of other people out there use as a way to save money, convert the dollar bills that are losing purchasing power into something that acts as a hedge against inflation just to stay financially protected. I don't know anyone who has been stacking silver for years that wants silver to go up in value to an ungodly amount just so they can cash out, pay those capital gains taxes and roll around in those dollar bills. I don't know anybody who wants that. It's for a variety of different reasons. Number one, most people who have that precious metal mindset, many of us kind of let go of the fiat mindset, that, that fiat currency dollar bill mentality. Many of us, it's like once you go to silver and gold, like you don't even want to go back to dollars. If you want the dollar bills, like I said, business, stocks, and real estate might be a smarter move. If you want something to turn you into a multi-millionaire or to make you massive amounts of profits or gains or income or whatever the case may be and you're looking at silver to do that for you in my opinion i think you might be playing the wrong game if you're looking to save money for the long term i think that's what silver's for i think that's what silver's main priority is for a lot of people 
that's what people are using as a way to save money for the long term, act as a hedge against inflation, and preserve their wealth for decades and decades, potentially generations to come if they plan on passing it down to their kids and or their grandkids. This is what a lot of people are doing. Now, I've been doing this for about three years. I've talked to a lot of people, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people over the last three years. I haven't met anyone that's in it for the long term wanting spot price to explode out of nowhere. There's a lot of short-term people who want that to happen. They got involved a couple of days ago, and they're hoping that sometime next week it's going to just skyrocket. They want it to 10x or 50x in value just so they can cash out and then go buy a bunch of stuff they don't need. They want that Lamborghini. They want that Louis Vuitton wallet. They want that Rolex watch. They want stuff like that. Yeah, of course there's people like that, but once somebody's involved for, I would say, at least like six months or so, you start to realize, okay, yeah, this is this is for saving. This is a way to protect my money. This is financial preparation. This is a hedge against inflation. This is for the long term. This isn't a get rich quick. Most people who have that long term mentality, most people who have been involved for at least a couple of months, at least. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people who can join today who have an understanding, but a lot of people who join for the wrong reason or get involved or start stacking thinking that it's going to get them rich immediately a lot of them lose interest a lot of them fizzle out and fade away a lot of them realize after a little while okay I've been stacking for a little while now and I'm not a trillionaire yet maybe I should do something else I think that's what people start to realize so if the spot price never ends up skyrocketing we're still going to be left with a bunch of metals that are still going to be worth something no matter what. It's an industrial metal. Silver's not going anywhere. Silver's not going to be replaced. Silver's not going to disappear. Silver's always going to be here. Its presence will always be established. It's always going to be important. It's always going to be versatile. It's always going to be diverse. And the way I see it, there's no way for it to go to zero. And over an extended period of time, I believe it will gradually go up in value. Absolutely. If I didn't think that would happen, I wouldn't be stacking it. If I thought it was going to go down in value, if I didn't think that it was a worthy method of preserving my wealth, I wouldn't be involved. I wouldn't actively convert my dollars into something that's falling apart. But silver has always been here. It's always been money. The dollar bill, that's a man-made invention. That's fake money. It wasn't even invented all that long ago in the grand scheme of things. Silver's been here for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. It's constitutionally recognized as money. It's internationally recognized as money. It's biblically recognized as money. It's real, true, honest money. And the way I see it, I think there's a strong possibility that silver might be the most undervalued asset on the planet, which is why I've been capitalizing on it for the last three years. But that's just the way I see it. That's just from my perspective, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take anything on this channel as financial advice. Make sure you're doing your own research, forming your own opinions, making your own decisions based off of your own conclusions, not mine. But worst case scenario, if another 20, 30, 40, 50 years go by and silver doesn't go to a trillion dollars an ounce, what does that make us? It makes us a group of people who have metals that are still worth something, maybe not hundreds of millions of dollars, but guess what? We're currently a group of people with a bunch of metals that are not currently worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Who did we hurt in the process? What did we do wrong in the process? Who did we interfere with in the process? What wrong did we do? Who did we upset? Who did we make angry? Who did we get in the way of? Who did we do anything to? Absolutely no one. What are we doing over here, for the most part? We're taking care of our own money and we're minding our own business. That's it. We're not trying to be in everybody's face, being like, Oh, you're stupid, you should be stacking silver instead. Nobody's saying that. Nobody's doing that. And if somebody is saying that, if somebody is doing that, they're no friend of mine. I wouldn't judge someone for not wanting to stack silver. A lot of people out there are big. Well, if you don't stack silver, you're a sheep. That's not the type of person I would ever want to associate with. 
I believe everyone should make their own decision. Just because anyone can stack silver doesn't mean that silver's for everyone. Just my opinion. Just some of my thoughts. I'm curious. What do you think? In the comment section down below, head on down and let me know. What do you think of today's video topic? What would you do if a couple years, couple decades down the road, silver still doesn't end up skyrocketing? What happens if several years down the road, silver does make its way up? It, it continues to climb. It goes to, I don't know, 30 40 50 It continues to go up in value, or should I say the dollar continues to go down in value, and it would appear that silver is going up in value. But it doesn't necessarily, quote-unquote, skyrocket. It doesn't rapidly take off out of nowhere in a very short window of time. And you still have all the silver, maybe all the gold, maybe all of it added up still doesn't make you a multi-billionaire. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic, and what if the spot price doesn't skyrocket in terms of the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways. Got a brand new one going on right now. If you join the VIP club before January 1st, you're automatically entered and a random name is going to be drawn. You might win. I'm also doing discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And you can watch all of my YouTube videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on today's video topic? Are you someone that is hoping and praying for silver to absolutely take off out of nowhere? Keep in mind, if that were to happen, a lot of attention would be drawn to silver. Silver would be on everybody's radar if that were to take place. If you're somebody who is hoping your best to keep a low profile that might not be something you would want to happen anyway but are you someone that's wanting silver to just explode just skyrocket out of nowhere or are you someone more like me and you understand that if something takes off that way it can come crashing down just as quick and maybe you're hoping for more of a healthy stable growth over an extended period of time. I'm talking about a gradual rise. I'm talking about that upward trajectory where years and years and years, decades and decades go by and silver climbs its way up on its own without anything or any type of outside source or factor just knocking it all the way up in the air. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.